Tis the season for the yearly national budget theater production, put on by the Republican and Democratic Departments of America's Public Government. This year's event has been titled Sequestration. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Kind of another little twist on the whole fiscal cliff idea. The way the mainstream media presents it, we have a real show in store, and America is hanging in the balance. Yes, I know, it's dramatic, it's entertaining, but there's about as much substance to this face-off as a WWF reunion match between Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker. And you know, at least in the WWF, they hit each other over the head with chairs. With the amount of money that the Congress charges the public for this show, they should at least throw a few choreographed punches or pile drivers. Here's the thing. The United States is headed for an economic collapse. All the real numbers point to this. The $16 trillion national debt, the massive derivatives and toxic assets still on the books of the major banks, a stagnant and bloated consumer-based economy, and a steadily worsening job market. All of these elements indicate that America's hard times haven't even really begun yet. We've got much bigger problems on our hands. The amount of money being debated in the entire sequestration drama is about as important to the big picture as the weight of an ant hitchhiking on the back of an 18-wheeler. The sequestration is a choreographed conflict to convince the public to pick a side in this left-right paradigm, to distract you from the fact that the Congress, and the entire government for that matter, are utterly corrupt. Most people can't even fathom what a $16 trillion government debt means. And even less of them can imagine the implications of having a quadrillion dollars of derivatives on the market, especially when the entire New York Stock Exchange is valued at around $16 trillion. Explaining how derivatives work and why they are a time bomb waiting to go off is beyond the scope of this video. But if you do some of your own research, you'll come to a very disturbing conclusion. There is no way out of this. The U.S. economy is coming down sooner or later. And by later, we're not talking 20 years from now. The politicians aren't going to tell you this. The mainstream media isn't going to tell you this. They're going to sell you bread and circuses till the very end. And make no mistake, that's what this sequester drama is. Bread and circuses. The reality of the matter is that the government will spend the money it really wants to when it wants to. It's not like they have a limited number of dollars to draw from. The dollar is debt-based, meaning it's loaned into existence. And even when there aren't enough legitimate buyers for U.S. bonds to cover the money that they want to print, the Federal Reserve has shown itself willing to buy back its own bonds. They call this monetizing the debt. But what it really means is that in such cases, they print money out of thin air, not even bothering to respect the rules of their own Ponzi scheme. So rest assured, if cuts are made, it's because they want you to believe in the drama. They want you to believe that they're doing their best to save America. Don't believe them, folks. This is political theater. Nothing more, nothing less. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Doing that helps the video get viewed by more people. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel, StormClouds Gathering, on YouTube. And for bonus content, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash stormcloudsgathering, on Twitter at Collapse Updates, and of course our website, stormcloudsgathering.com. Also remember, Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, which is tonight, we have our Blog Talk Radio Roundtable, where you can call in and bring up any topic you want. Also, if you appreciate the work we're doing and you'd like to contribute financially, you can find a donate button on our website.